They built engines for motorcycles, not million-dollar jets. But Honda's dream to touch the skies changed aviation forever. Back in the mid-1980s, Honda shocked the world by chasing a seemingly impossible dream, building a jet so efficient, so sleek, it could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with aviation giants. And here's where it gets even more unbelievable. On December 3rd, 2003, North Carolina skies weren't ready for what was coming. A small, white jet, engines perched above the wings like nothing anyone had seen, cut through the clouds. Inside the control tower, Michimasa Fujino barely breathed, watching 17 years of work, one billion dollars poured into the impossible, and decades of doubt turn into reality. 84 minutes later, the flight ended, and the world finally realized Honda wasn't just making cars and motorcycles anymore. They'd rewritten the rules of executive aviation. But let's rewind a bit. The story actually began in the 1980s. While every other automaker was obsessed with dominating the roads, Honda did something different. So Ichiro Honda believed that true progress came from pushing boundaries, even if that meant looking skyward. Everyone thought he was crazy. Aviation? Motorcycles to jets? Impossible. Yet Honda didn't just want another plane. They wanted to reinvent the light executive jet. Something faster, quieter, and more efficient. Something that would make giants like Cessna and Embraer take notice. And in a world where risk was the enemy, Honda embraced it. This part blew my mind. A young engineer, Michimasa Fujino, was given a small, scrappy team at Honda's R&D Center in Japan. No flashy budget, no army of designers, just a handful of people and total creative freedom. They started tinkering, sketching, and testing ideas that aviation experts would have laughed at. Composites, aerodynamics, and one crazy concept, putting engines above the wings. Everyone said it wouldn't work. Fujino? He saw opportunity where others saw absurdity. He nurtured every wild idea, every small success, and every failure, knowing one day it could all click together and change the game entirely, just when it seemed like nothing could stop them. Japan's economy crashed in 1991. Honda's board began questioning everything. A billion-dollar project with no proven market? They thought it was reckless. Fujino spent nights defending his team's work, showing how the tech could benefit not just aviation, but cars and motorcycles, too. Every executive meeting felt like walking a tightrope over a pit of fire. One wrong step and the project would die. Months of tension passed, but somehow, barely, they survived. This wasn't just about building a plane anymore. It was a battle for survival, and Honda had to prove the impossible was worth it. They had applied their engineering prowess to find their way to the top of just about every racing podium that they sought after, all while making vehicles and production processes that made personal mobility accessible to everyone. And here's where Honda really started turning heads. In 1993, after seven years of secret research, the team rolled out their first experimental jet, the MH-02. This wasn't about sales or profit. It was pure science. Every inch was carbon fiber composite, every curve designed to test ideas nobody else dared touch. For four years, from 1993 to 1997, the MH-02 flew hundreds of hours, pushing every limit. The engine above the wing design, once laughed at, worked. Noise levels dropped, fuel efficiency soared, and drag decreased. It proved that thinking differently wasn't just theoretical. Honda had turned skepticism into reality, one flight at a time. In 1997, during a commercial flight, Fujino grabbed a napkin and sketched what would become the Honda Jet. No computers, no fancy tools, just a vision of elegance and efficiency. That simple drawing captured innovation in its purest form, compact, aerodynamic, 
and revolutionary. It marked the moment Honda's aviation dream became real. The sketch wasn't just art. It was the blueprint for a jet that would challenge industry giants and redefine what a small aircraft could be. In 1999, Honda made a bold move, setting up a research center in Greensboro, North Carolina. It placed them right in the middle of America's aviation hub, close to the FAA, suppliers, and top engineers. This wasn't just a new location, it was a statement. The U.S. became Honda's testing ground and the stage for global recognition. For the first time, the Honda Jet team wasn't hidden in Japan. They were preparing to face the toughest certification standards in aviation. Hi everyone, we're going to be flying down to Austin, Texas today with a quick stop in Monroe, Louisiana. The first Honda Jet prototype departed North Carolina on December 3rd, 2003. It climbed gracefully into the heavens thanks to its distinctive composite fuselage and over-the-wing engines. Fujino watched from the control tower. 17 years of effort come alive in one incredible flight. Each simulation and design operated just perfectly. The jet confirmed that Honda could not just create aircraft, but also that it could compete with Cessna and Embraer. Honda formally entered aviation history with this flight. The Honda jet first debuted in public at AirVenture Oshkosh, the largest aviation event worldwide in 2005. The crowd was amazed that a motorbike business had created anything so smooth and contemporary. Its stylish design, silent engines, and remarkable efficiency drew immediate attention. Online excitement erupted as cameras flashed and specialists muttered. The unveiling was more than simply a reveal. Honda was here to stay. Years of testing and certification, though, lie ahead beyond the accolades. Honda went through a decade of rapid growth between 2005 and 2015. Their Greensboro plant grew dramatically, and the crew now numbered 1,800 engineers. Pushing every system to its limit, the jet flew 25,000 hours and 40,000 ground hours. Certification changed from a marker to a quest. The result was among the safest, most dependable light jets ever manufactured. Every panel and every rivet was inspected for perfection. This was perfection via obsession rather than trial and error. A significant step ahead, Honda unveiled the Honda Jet Elite in 2018. Range grew to 1,547 nautical miles, fuel efficiency improved, and the cabin underwent a luxurious facelift. It skillfully combined comfort with innovation by means of new avionics, better storage, and cutting-edge entertainment. Even earlier models were not abandoned. Owners had the chance to update with the APMG package. It set a new benchmark for flexibility, performance, and customer care in private aviation by demonstrating Honda's dedication to advancement for all clients. And inside, it seems like a private lounge in the sky, with Italian leather, carbon fiber finishes, and seating capacity for up to seven passengers. Fully reclining seats turning 360 degrees. For mood and functionality, a club-style design features a fold-out table, panoramic windows, and adjustable LED lighting. Long flights are simple and peaceful thanks to high-speed Wi-Fi, touchscreens, and a serene pressurized cabin. Comfort meets technology, whether you are working, unwinding, or hosting. From supplies to seating, every component was created with the passenger experience in mind, demonstrating that Honda was striving not only for efficiency or speed, but also for the kind of wealth that really counts in corporate travel. And here's the future. 
The Honda Jet 2600 promises to push boundaries even further. With a 2,875 mile range, 11 passenger capacity, and a cruising speed of 450 knots, it can fly coast to coast without stopping. Imagine light jet DNA scaling up to mid-size performance, all while staying efficient and luxurious. This isn't just an upgrade, it's the next chapter of Fujino's three-decade dream, translating decades of innovation into a plane that redefines what executive aviation can do. It's proof that Honda doesn't settle, and the sky is just the beginning. And finally, the story behind the story. Michimasa Fujino's journey is proof that persistence beats skepticism. From secret R&D labs to napkin sketches on a plane, from early failures to global acclaim, the Honda Jet embodies vision turned reality. It isn't just a plane, it's a symbol of engineering courage, of refusing to follow the rules, and of dreaming beyond boundaries. Every curve, every system, every flight tells a story of relentless pursuit, reminding the world that bold ideas, no matter how impossible they seem, can take off and soar higher than anyone imagined. From motorcycles to the skies, Honda showed that innovation has no limits. The Honda Jet is more than a machine. It's a masterpiece born from obsession, failures, and relentless pursuit of perfection. So, what's your take on this incredible journey? Hit like, share, and subscribe for more stories of impossible dreams that actually took flight.